This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General. We have gathered here for a reason. And the reason has to do with the fact that we have gathered enough evidence to assemble you here together to talk about the problem that we had actually um, figured out in this very district. I have been in this um, district for some time. I have reported consistently in this school. And I must say that the issue of teenage pregnancy and child marriage, although if not intensifying, it is at a certain level that we need to holistically come together to address before it aggravates to a level that we cannot do anything about. So bringing you here today gives me much joy. In Good Dog alone, before those who completed left school, four cases were recorded in the same class. And I think this is um, an alarming situation that we must talk about. This is just happening in Gundog JHS. We don't know what is happening in other schools dotted around the district. And so we have brought you here for us to look at the way forward. What can we do holistically to ensure that this problem of child marriage, early marriage, forced marriage, elopement, and then teenage pregnancy can be brought to the barest minimum. So I thank everyone for being part of this discussion. I believe that at the end of this discussion, we're going to present some fruitful um, resolutions that would be held on by everybody, especially the opinion leaders in the community. I thank um, um, TV3 Mission Ghana for organizing this um, forum. Yeah, it is true. Last week, uh, last year, I was in school when uh, I had information from the letter that TV3 was coming to cover a, a, a program in my school. I was surprised. I said, hey, this one, unless I contact my directorate. So I contacted my directorate and they said they were aware, but I should be careful in the way I handle myself. I said, yeah, thank you. I will do that. So they actually did the coverage. And um, out of my candidates, um, four of them were uh, pregnant but the most serious note was one of them was um, early marriage she was already even by then she was in year two so um, we, we made a follow-up they came and made a full coverage and made a follow-up and then even it was reported to the director the director made a follow-up with um, with um, social welfare they invited the the man the parents and then the the so-called husband and then they gave the man the, the, the acts of the age at that time the girl was 15 years so imagine a 15 year girl marrying that's too serious so um, they ordered that the girl should be released back to the parents which uh, they did and then the girl went back to the parents and then by by then the lady had picked seed so when she moved to a uh, year three um, um, she continued with her pregnancy Whilst, whilst attending a uh, school. Yeah, we phone. Yeah, you need the echo. I call like it to a beer and walk away. And yet, and the answer, yeah, 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 on to me, go school. On to me, every beer, and what I say, or go worry, I know it's no. The other beer went to me yet. One can no colour breast, said the uncle, and the city, and one can who be you. Well, yeah, film, and to Miss Robia, said the Missia Kano. I am to a boss, eh? They are woof for Bia, yeah, but tre, no one had a bay ye. A china, no yinny, or go school. No, a timmy, I have a beer, or yea, Jimma. Now say the years in the draw, no acquire yes, and I had now all was shot. Now so I call Walla. Yana, I have robo. Just I went to me, so be beam. We are not saying they shouldn't marry, but they should just they should marry at a time that I think they are matured enough after they have completed at least a certain level of education. I think that will help. 
Um, just, uh, I just want to use myself as a, an example. I have a daughter uh, who was in SS last year, Zamsi Senior High. She's also in, she was in final year by then. One of their vacations, they vacated, and I didn't see her. No, no, that she was camped by some boys in Bulga. So for more than a week, I didn't see her. So I made a, I made a follow up. Then a friend directed me that I should directed me to where the, she was housed for more than one week. She was more or less kidnapped. So I made a follow up to regional police and reported the matter, and they released some policemen and they went to the house and arrested the boys and brought them. No, no, that that was a mate, <laughs> a schoolmate who I've just completed. <laughs> so in fact. They are, they are all students anyway. So I, I better follow up. Serious. Those days, I wasn't of myself. Because you are final year, it is the time you have to get time for your books. How do you go and you are sli sli sleeping with a man? How can you get time to study and pass well? So I was able to bring her under control. As I'm speaking now, she came back to her senses and she, she completed successfully and she's now with me in the house, comfortable. <laughs> so I, what I want to say is that we the parents, sometimes at a certain stage, you know, the children, when they are at their adolescent stage, at that age, when they taste the something, is that okay? Eh? My small, small guess. Then they, they, it, they, they, it becomes difficult to control them. At that stage, if you, are, you the parent, you become an enemy. So I think this is the time we have to, be, uh, we have to come together and help see how we can bring our children together. Everybody, I want to the air now, Miss Summit, two hundred Miss Sri, Miss Summit Bow Wally. Now, I am a debt. A buyer and a mobile car, and I may see you, my tea. I call on the bus now by fear. Call on by fear, my tea so. I call on the way, and I am a bob bo. Sakola. Well, sir, I'm a call on the fire, Jimmy. Open your nose, sir. What duck round when you said the airport? You see, no crack, call on the sir. I mean, you said, be I said, yes, it's here, no, and yet. My catcher and woof was so be a year no home, no sacolan or sonny by ye. Or can us aqualan and see a cra on friendly per menu, a woof for menu, at the aqualan at Sassy, no one can children. At the Achi aqualan by a ye. Now your man qualan a while and ten ten a dear. And yet, that ye are home, that ye are son or musubetna. Now you be a jet, no be a hair, and I come up. Now your mamma will warrant ten ten, and I want to move to me a hay. And see. That's it, said the SCTN. They are on mobile about Tanahano. I yell Bia said, O Bia Suba TV, O Bia Unim said the SC Cosso, Ukofia, after the Oberswan, and Timidi and Nami Nimkura, said the dear, O Mamma Menitia, said the Miss Sua Colano, me bano, Mina Nano, ne me bano, said the Assessia Missiano, I am a fecke. Just say, No qua while you fear the Ayah dear, when you are quiet, my sir, and so me that's it. Early child marriage is when a boy or girl gets into marriage before the age of 20. Before the age of 20, it is early child marriage. And this early child marriage comes with its consequences. We have so many consequences of early child marriage. But for the sake of time, I will just touch a few. I've already explained that in our own language and then the people have understood, but I will just touch a few. I spoke about limited education. With regards to the limited education, the child is married at an age that the child shouldn't have gotten into marriage. So at that stage, you see that the child education is drawn backwards. The child education will not be able to move forward because the child is involved in activities that will not permit the child to do what? To concentrate in academic work, to concentrate in any other activity concerning education. So for that matter, this limited education we are talking about, the children that are often uh, forced into marriages, they end up not getting any certificate in school. They end up not complete, some will not even complete JSS, neither to talk of SS. And this is what we want to prevent for the future. Then the other issue is increased risk, health risk. With the health risk, we know that um, the ladies, their reproductive organs are not well developed. 
And for that matter, when a child becomes pregnant, it is very difficult to carry this pregnancy to term. So when these children become pregnant, they encounter so many health issues like anemia, malnutrition. Those are some of the issues these children will encounter. And such a child to carry the fetus throughout pregnancy till birth, they go through a whole lot of emotional instabilities and these are some of the things that draw the children backwards yet tana la ko ayel mer betenga la mesen tana sa awre tetenga sa kur bi hapa la in cm kambele la ayela all of us especially the girl child to be very careful with the way they go about uh, sleeping with boys every now and then and then also to the parents to take very good care of their their words while they are still in school and uh, she he recounts an incident that happened at gundok when the child was in labor in the exam room that they were running helter skelter to see how best she could deliver and they were not even talking about how she could write the exam but how she could deliver it was a painful experience so she is calling on all of us to come together to ensure that this ugly incident doesn't occur again so basically that's what she said and she's thanking all of us for giving him audience then we also talked about psychosis or um, emotional instability during childbirth when they give birth they are unable to take care of their babies and when they are not able to take care of these babies they become emotionally unstable so when they are emotionally unstable these children will end up becoming mentally disturbed they will not be able to handle the babies the way they are supposed to handle these babies they will not be able to do that and with regards to that the babies too will not be able to get good health and this draw them backwards because as an infant that fetus needs good care and good nutrition to be able to develop well likewise the mother who is not well developed needs good care and good nutrition so when they are not able to get the necessary support they need or they are not able to get the right diet they need they will not be able to complete their development and this draws them back efforts to prevent child marriage and promote gender equality are crucial in mitigating these negative effects and empowering individuals to leading to lead fulfilling lives these children should try their best and concentrate on education with this it will move them forward and then early marriage will be a thing of the past in Nabdan district i stand here with mixed feelings i stand with mixed feelings because in a district where most of the leaders are females, we should not be having more issues of child marriages and teenage pregnancies. On the other hand, I am happy because all hope is not lost. We are here today, all stakeholders present, to brainstorm what can be done to salvage the situation. We have heard a lot from all the speakers. I just want to add my voice by letting us know the importance of education. I know in a land where there are other economic activities which can enable people to get money quick, then they will say, ah, but this woman, what are you talking about? When I just go to the Galamse piece, I come out with money. I'm able to buy what 
Government workers are even unable to buy. So why are you worrying us with education? Education. But if you permit me to just take you through some of the importance of educating the girl child, then uh, at a point, we will realize that we'll be doing ourselves good if we allow the girl child to go to school. What will education do for the girl child? You educate the girl child, the girl child acquires skills, she acquires knowledge, she acquires the right attitudes which will prepare her to face the challenging world, to face all that is in her. This world that uh, she needs to fight and come out of. If the girl child has the right education, the girl child is able to contribute meaningfully in society. My dear girls, do you want to become teachers, lawyers, doctors? Do you want to become? Yes. Do you just get there without going to school? Look at how Madame looks nice in her dress. Don't you want to be like her? And if you rush to take indomin, will you be like her? Because what I am aware of is that because uh, of these social gatherings that uh, you people attend, you go there, you meet the boys, then they begin to buy indomin for you. At that moment, you feel indomin is, is the sweetest in the world. And so, you fall in for them. Then after eating indomin, your education stops there. Do you want it that way? I think uh, this uh, mission Ghana have done a lot and it has actually brought uh, eye opening to the community. Uh, some of these issues is beyond with the teachers. So while the parents are involved, I think it will go a long way to help us. Having been able to express myself to this point, the mixed feelings I'm having, I am thinking that uh, now that all stakeholders are here, we have all appreciated the problem then uh, we are all going to contribute to bring a solution to this problem. I want you Queen Mothers to champion this cause to help our females get to the level they are supposed to get in the educational ladder so that uh, we will all benefit. I appreciate so much TV3 is doing, helping us to tackle this issue through their instrumentality. Mary got a bicycle which is easing her movement. We are very grateful for all the attempts you have put in to ensure that uh, this problem which is eating us up is corrected and uh, just last week i had information from one woman one judge from central region and she called me last week and said that she saw a uh, mary panion on tv3 program mission ghana and she realized that she's the type who want to work her because they came back again tv3 came back and gave her a bicycle to be committing to school why that she gave birth the child was in the house she come for classes, go back for the, to breastfeed and come back. So she wanted to assist the girl. So she ordered that I should take her to Bolga to see the regional judge, uh, the one, the secretary judge in Bolga. Uh, she will liaise with him so that she get her, um, her the admission letter and then the cost involved. She will bear all the expenses. So which I did, Bolga, then went to the judge. They just snapped her results and then uh, the admission letter and then the, 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 pro, the prospectus and send it to her. That she will pay for her cost, full cost of education at the senior high. When we allow our girls to go to school, it reduces issues of inequality. When you sacrifice for your children's education, they become independent. They are financially independent. They are able to contribute to solve your family problems. I know you, the parents, you will be proud. It is not about the four cows that you will take from uh, the child's husband, the girl child's husband. But what the girl child would be able to do for you 
in the near future will be more than the four cows that uh, you will take. So it is good you make sacrifices. It is good you have attention for your girl children. Don't push them into things that uh, will cripple their education. It is not about now, but it is about what you gain in the future. When you prepare your children well for the future, even if you don't stay alive to witness, you will lie in your grave being comfortable that uh, the work that God has given you on earth, you have carried it well, and then uh, your children are happy on this earth. Te doaru a te tate bihira Banro yi Ka banro pen Te lube katina ense La a te Te jan jout pataba He wants to admonish all parents To ensure that They advise their kids At home And also Don't just sit at home and And have a feeling your child is in school periodically make a follow-up to the schools to check on your words if they are in school some of the kids like he cited some of the kids they will just um, put mufti in the in their bags and when they leave home they will change into mufti and put the uniform in the bags and go elsewhere so we should periodically check at the schools to ensure the children are in school they're actually learning then also um, he advised that when you find that a colleague's child is misbehaving or is somewhere else misbehaving, you have to give a tip off to the parent to make sure the right thing is done so that together you will see how best you can uh, mold the children. Thank you very much. I'm advising the parents to get a watchdog committee so that this watchdog committee will be monitoring the activities of their wars. Maybe if they have lunching, passing out, all the activities that uh, can have a negative influence in their lives, the committee should take charge of that. I've also uh, advised that before that committee is selected or formed, they should look for people with, with morally upright life. But if you choose someone who is also having a questionable character, the children may not respect uh, such a committee. Madam <laughs> So, the chief should institute some bylaws that will prevent some of these things from happening. And he cited example that when the chief says, um, uh, when you when you are carrying out some passing out in the community, that is. A When Alaji asked the 
constitution of the bylaws by the chief. The chief came out to find out from parents. He said he cannot make the decision solely. So he's asking parents if they have accepted that some bylaws should be constituted so that a watchdog, a watchdog committee set up so that anybody's child that is found at passing out, lunching, and what have you, uh, such a child should be uh, brought to, to order. And parents have graciously accepted. They said they have accepted that such a bylaw should be passed. And so I'm sure when they go back, they'll make it workable. Lala Mambo Sake, Kinu to Taba Tinzau, not mending Lola, Kumari Pana Baki Yele, not Baon. All what we are saying, the pay, not all the parents are here. Some will take it, some will not take it. Even I'm saying PTH, I'm mentioning of uh, lacking out and all that thing. Fine, that is the key factor of the problem of this place. And when you look the market, the market, the Pelongo market here, some the curate there, the day off will go, they will come back in the night. Even now, there was a year, there was a case when a child closed from the market and was coming, and a certain man ripped the child in, the, in some uncompleted building. So the key factor is the market. The market too is also another factor. Come and pick the galamse. The galamse too is those. That is also another factor. Even during school days, when it is raining and I'm going home, you will see a child like this, doing like this, entering a bridge, simply because he didn't come to school. Inside the river, they won't come. That's what they're doing. So, if you look at it, it is not like a national anthem that if Gundo we don't say, we will not be happy. If we don't say that one, we will not be happy. That is what I'm looking at it. Even this girl pregnancy they are talking of, because here wasn't having GSS. We weren't seeing that thing simply because they were then at Zandergo. We were, we were not seeing it. But now that we established the GSS, they are grown. It is the same community people that are using them too much. They are using them too much. Even if you look, when, you are, when I'm coming at whatever they are seeing me, you see them running. As I'm talking, you are looking at me. You already know me. <laughs> so, if you look, if you look at critical, we will team up. We are going to agree to team up. The teachers, the parents will team up. If you, your child is having a problem, then don't come near. When you come near, we're not going to leave you. I think they were not pregnant by themselves. It was the boys that did that. So please, if there could be some bylaws to, to restrict or restrain the boys or to put some fear into the boys, those that are doing that. I think if you are a boy and you got a girl pregnant, I think there should be some sanctions so that when they know that, okay, if I got a, a, a girl child pregnant, this and that is going to happen to me. I think it will put some fear into them and it will, if we are not able to stop that, maybe it can bring it down small. We should stop following boys. That's why our madam said we should just stop collecting the indomie. When madam just entered, I just saw her and said, wow how this mother is looking i want to be somewhere in future like how our mother is doing so my dear brothers and sisters we should stop following the boys and we should stop going to lunching passing our funerals so that's what i want to say thank you